Hi, my name is Atoa, and you're rocking with High Vision. So first and foremost, bro, let us know who you are and where you're from. Well, my real name is Atoa Lee, but I'm well known as Lito, um, as everyone, you know, from the music. But um, I'm from New Auckland, New Zealand, and um, I'm an artist. How long have you been doing music for? Um, I started music when I was around 12 years old, so that was like around 2016. Mm -hmm. My dad gave me like a laptop and I just thought I'd fuck around and just make music just because like he saw my cousins back in the islands used to do it just for mm -hmm. fun. So, you know, we would record just like random freestyles and all that. And then eventually it kind of just turned into um, something I actually really liked to do as I moved to um, New Zealand, mm -hmm. which was in 2019. Damn, there's a fucking truck outside. Is it loud? <laughs> I can't hear it. Well, oh, no, perfect. No, but yeah, it kind of it kind of turned into more something more serious. And then when I started to get more streams and I started to earn money off it, so that kind of like pushed me to be like, all right, let's let's see where we can take this. So mm -hmm. that, that's kind of how it started. Okay, okay, that's dope. Uh, what made you uh, really get into music? Uh, who's like your music inspirations? Inspirations. Um, I mean, it's honestly my family. I've been surrounded by music, you know. All my life, you know, my my um, granddad's from both sides of the sides of the family were in um, jazz bands. Mm -hmm. um, one played the saxophone, one played the trombone. Um, and you know, like Houston, my cousins would always, you know, like I said, they would always just record random freestyles. And mm -hmm. you know, my dad is really into his music. You know, he has a whole room dedicated to the speakers and listening to all that shit. So you know, mm -hmm. that, it was just being surrounded by all that, I guess, musical energy. Not to be too like deep and profound, but kind of just like. Yeah, I'll give it a go, but that's that was that was kind of my inspiration, just my family. Okay, okay. So your whole family does music, huh? Yeah, to, to an extent, to an extent, yeah. Yeah, so that's that's, fucking mean. that's dope, man. That's dope. Uh, Thank you. Who's uh one of your favorite artists right now? Damn, right now. I mean, who have I been listening to heaps? I've been listening to heaps of Nasca Allo. Yeah. That's, uh, that's been like my go-to go to gym song because <laughs> so, uh, all I've been doing is gymming at the moment and that's like the only time I listen to music yeah. apart from like hopping in the car so it's just it's been him at the moment okay 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 yo that's dope uh, do you listen to Central Sea by any chance? oh fuck yeah, yeah. everyone does here in New Zealand <laughs> yo that's dope how's the music scene out there in New Zealand? It, it's alright it's alright you know like it's nothing compared to um, America, like, mm -hmm. at all, you know, you got, you got a lot of, I think um, Lil Bubblegum always talks about is the tall poppy syndrome over here, you know, you'll mm -hmm. never, you'll never really make it here unless you make it somewhere else, you know, like, what me and um, Lil Bubblegum experienced with the scene here, like, not until we started getting streams mm -hmm. overseas is when people started to fuck with us and the whole aesthetic genre. Because, you know, we were, when we first started, people were like, what the fuck is this music? Like, it's just like a bunch of like e-boy shit and all that. And, you know, we're not like, we're not like e-boys. We just like the music. So we just fucking just did what we did. And, you know, we had to go through all that, that fuss with all the tall puppy syndrome here. And then now we got people that actually fuck with it. But I mean, apart from other artists, you know, I know a lot of great artists here, you know, that, that I believe that can really make it out there. And, you know, and there's the other half, where, which I just... Or name any names, but I just don't like them. <laughs> it's just a very, very high-headed, you know, and it's yeah. just it's not it's not really healthy for the community here. You know, I always try to show love to everyone, but like it's just some of the people here can be a bit, yeah, yeah. It's, okay. it's a pretty toxic, toxic mus musical community, like at to to an extent. Eh? Okay, okay, I get you. I get yeah. what you're saying. And so you're saying how it's really hard for someone to really make it in New Zealand like with your community and all that and so uh one thing like that's different here in the u.s is like a lot of people have a lot of opportunity out here with when it yeah. comes to music and so uh my next question to you is are you ever going to come down to the u.s oh bro you see like i wanted to come with um i wanted to come with bubble gum but you know since he dropped out of school i was still in high school at the time yeah you know i was dying i just like man i really want to come yeah. Um, I'm trying to come. I'm trying to come this year. 
Yeah. But you know, I can't lie. I got some. I got some strict parents. You know, I gotta yeah. ask for their permission. <laughs> and you know, it's it's just like you know, at some. Um, it, it will eventually happen. You know, I just gotta mm. get my my parents comfortable with me being eighteen. So I, you know, I don't wanna rush anything. I wanna make sure they're comfortable and you know, so they know I'm safe. But it will happen happen eventually, either this year or most definitely next year. Yeah. Uh, Supreme was talking to me about that. That uh, you and Bubblegum are planning to come together this time this year. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. Cause yeah, one of the bros that takes us blue is our creative director. You know, he's always taking care of us. He always brings us along everywhere. So he's he's been helping us out. Mm-hmm. And yeah, no, I'm just dying to come because, of course, I want to meet all the bros there as well. Yeah. Eh? Like, as much as you want to get the opportunities, I just want to meet all the bros that we've been talking online for years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be dope, definitely, bro. Definitely, yeah. Um, what's uh, one of your favorite songs you've made? Damn, it's this thing with me, like, I don't like m- many of my songs I release, like, I'll no listen way. to it too much and just be like. Fuck this song. <laughs> like, nah, this song's me. And I'm just like, ah, oh, fuck. But one song that will stick with me that I will always love. It's not posted on Spotify or anything. It's only SoundCloud. It's called Insomnia. Uh-huh. It was it was like one of my first like proper singing songs. Uh-huh. And you know, at that time, you know, I was going through like some girl problems. And you know, it was really pure. <laughs> I think I was like maybe like. 15 16 at the time so it was real just like young boy shit like i was just like a little kid but fucking yeah. it just felt really like pure to me you know like that shit like actually came from the heart and like you know that was my first time singing and like i just really thought i, I really fucked with it i want to do more of it but whenever i try it mm-hmm. just doesn't come out the same like i always end up just like going into that melodic rap kind of mm-hmm. lane but that i don't know that something about that song i, I just find it really beautiful and you know, I always think you should back yourself in your own songs, and that's one of the songs I back for myself. Okay, okay, yeah, that's dope. Yeah. And so, um, one thing I want to talk about, uh, s- someone requested me to talk about this. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> and I also want to know too. Are you on Guap too? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Damn, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this. Um, I mean. If I'm on Guap One, <laughs> well, well, I mean, what y'all think? But I, I don't know if I'm, I'm not, I, you know, I want to keep it straight to Lil Bubblegum to, um, you know, announce everything. But I think people have a fair idea who's on the song, you know? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. This Loki feels like Spider Man when, like, you don't know who is Spider Man. <laughs> well, like, you know, it's just a song, but, like, you know, I want to make, make some mystery with it as well. All I really right. fuck with it. I actually really fuck with the song. And I yeah. think people are gonna really like it, eh? Okay. Like, it's just, I always tell him, bro, when are you gonna drop it? When are you gonna drop it? And he's <laughs> always just teasing it and posting that fucking, uh, that gay, the gay version. And I'm just like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I see I'm, that, I'm, man. I'm sure he'll snip it soon and announce soon, which is it's just a matter of time. But I don't want, I don't want to let too much out because, you know, it's his mm-hmm. song. It's his song. And talking about music, um, yeah. one collab that I really want to see, and like I was, I wanted to ask you if it's ever gonna happen. Are, do you and one and only have a song together? Uh, bro, I, I mean, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure we can talk about this. Um, he has sent me an open, and I still need a record, so okay. that's all I'm gonna say. But nah, it's definitely on the way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send some more shit to him you know he's been busy like he's been real busy you know I mean, look at the numbers he's doing he's fucking been crazy yeah. busy and shit so i've just been trying to like you know work around his um schedule mm-hmm. um and obviously i just need to get my shit done you know ever since i because i called um covid a few weeks back i've just been like lacking on my features because i like lost yeah. my voice so i've just slowly started to get back into it and you know i've finished quite a bit so there's definitely heaps of like featured songs on the way yeah but definitely gonna get to that one and only joint hell yeah man hell yeah and uh one thing i want to talk about is uh you recently dropped a visual to step back yeah what made you get into like the car scene really and like do all that the funny thing was is that there was never actually meant to be cars in that video like we were just meant to just get a run and gun go yeah. around the city and just fuck around but when we got there one of our, our cameramen his name's ocean mm-hmm. he just he, he just he um put me put me aside and he was like man do you want cars 
like, what do you mean? He's like, I got some R34s that would be keen to be in the video. And I was like, yo, fuck it. <laughs> so calls, calls them out. They arrive in like 20 minutes. And then um, our creative director, Blue, just, and um, Jodo Valley, which is the other director, mm-hmm. um, they were just like, man, why don't, like, on the spot, why don't we turn this into like a, like an arcade um, Need for Speed type of video? So, yeah. you know, on the spot, because we proposed a whole different thing and we had meetings about it and this was nothing that we planned so the cars turned up we were like yeah fuck it this mm-hmm. is in the car and then we'll edit out this and do a cool like 3d scene and shit and i was just like on the spot just like yo this is gonna be fucking me <laughs> but now it turned out so mean like i mean i've always loved cars you know like, yeah i'm not the biggest car guy i don't know all the models but like <laughs> you know it's always cool to see cars and videos <laughs> yeah Damn, yo, that's that's how it's dope. How about with a uh, two seater? Was that one planned? Like you guys planned to do it at a golf course? Yeah, oh, bro, that was like really last minute planned because we had oh, what was the idea? Fuck. I think the first. Uh, I remember we were going for like a goofy vibe, which we definitely hit, like you mm-hmm. know, with all the shower scenes and just the weird golf scenes. I think the whole plan was to um get that um to get the golf scene and then just work from there and then on the day we kind of just hired out this like castle like airbnb and we just thought fuck this would be a cool like this was like on the night of when we were gonna do the shoot as well yeah or like the day before that we did the golf one we were like yeah fuck it we'll just hire out this place and just fuck around there so i had a main like pool mm-hmm. and like the front the front gate was main and so we just kind of played around that was pretty run and gun over there yeah. and then we just went through with the the golf scene it was quite funny though that that golf the golf course is like a public golf course so it's like real cheap to get into and i was just like wearing that whole burberry fit not knowing how to play golf just like pulling <laughs> up like yo can i grab some golf balls and a <laughs> and a fucking um cart and they would just look at me like what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> so yeah no that, that was it was pretty planned but like yeah. also run and gun a bit okay okay all right i see yeah um I wanna uh, I want to know who are your favorite aesthetic rappers aesthetic rappers man there's so many just cause we're homies all of them um you know gotta give it to Bubblegum One and Only Cisco 8% Shady Moon I mean I guess I guess Snot but like he's in his own lane now but he yeah. kinda started the aesthetic wave you know everyone loves Snot mm-hmm. um who else um you know Ashes what's up Rocker Low God, then there's so many, eh? Like after death, then uh, sad friend, bro, and yeah. lames. Can't forget lames. There's so much more. Sorry, if anyone watching this, I forgot you, but mm-hmm. there's pretty much all the homies, eh? Like you know, they all make the meanest music and shit. So it's, it's you know, it's real cool to see this community grow. Yeah, and then what about producers? Oh, bro, like producers. So we got Supreme. We got um Tokyo, which I. I found when he was like spamming spamming me on instagram to send me beats i thought all right i'll give him a chance and then he has like some of the hardest fucking aesthetic beats so we got tokyo shenron elias ah bro i'm gonna get a lot of fucking hate if i forget someone (laughs) oh i can't think off the top of my head oh bro can't forget um dozy do that's who i've been working with recently he's produced a new song um, that's releasing in two days okay okay but, you know he's more of like a funk type of guy um mm-hmm. but that's all i can think of the top of my head eh? yeah <laughs> if if any producers are watching like no hate no hate but <laughs> no hate it's just i rushed I him into this talk. question man i rushed it um you have a song and it's called ice cold yeah ice cold ice cold with my neck froze What's the yeah. whole meaning behind that song? Ah, uh, bro, it's. I, to be honest, I was fourteen. I had no idea what the fuck I was rapping about. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea. I was just, I was just sitting in my room and like, like if you really listen to the lyrics, none of it really makes sense. Like, to be honest, <laughs> like I think like the the way it resonated well with people was just kind of just like I don't know the whole vibe, the flow. I guess. Yeah. You know, personally, I don't really like the song. I got sick of it myself. <laughs> but like. It's just like I don't. I actually don't know what I was talking about, and I don't know if VVS diamonds on me and they keep me blessed. I guess it's just talking about diamonds and shit. But like, yeah. I kind of all over the place. If anything, the verse makes a bit more sense than the than the hook. But like, mm-hmm. 
oh well these people fucked with it you know i wasn't mm-hmm. expecting it to be like my biggest song at all like you know i was still like young as when i made that so i was just like still new to the whole like even making i'm not even making it but even just getting like recognition and the rap scene but yeah i don't know it doesn't really mean much <laughs> <laughs> okay okay um what song the, what song do you have that's out that you actually know means a lot to you um definitely insomniac means a lot um it was usually mostly um my my love songs eh? but you know it was always like sad love songs but since mm-hmm. i got a girl now i haven't really been you know i haven't really been sad about that so it's kind of hard to like this like fake a sad song because i know it won't mean shit but i mean i reckon one that sticks with me as with insomnia could be um all of the time for her mm-hmm. um it was about this one girl and it was like when i was in my like kind of peer born kind of phase you know experimenting with a lot of yeah and I, that was like what i was planning to kind of like go off rather than aesthetic rap but um you know everyone's kind of stuck to slap no slime and that but i think that one i don't know i just really found that one addicting eh? just like the like i hadn't i'd never flown flown like that i don't know no, I just, I don't know. I just kind of like the whole vibe of it, and I know people. Some people fucked with it. Like I'm always like happy when people message me and like, you know, they send me like listen, send them listening to like my old ass songs like all of the yeah, time and shit. Yeah. And they really like fuck yeah. Like people actually fuck with the melodic stuff. Yeah. Whenever I post about like you want a melodic song or rap song, everyone's the rap song, and I'm just like fuck, I wanna make melodic. But <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah, I, I get you, I get you. Yeah. And then you're talking about love songs. I know you got a verse yeah. in Jacob Angelo's song. You said, I got all these love songs, but I never fucking drop shit. Are you going to drop any love songs for the simps out there? I, I want to, eh? Like, it's just like a lot of the love songs I make nowadays, like, like I said, since I got a girl, like, it's just been like pretty, like, it hasn't felt pure like you know i want to be sad about that shit and like mm-hmm. actually make it because i always feel like it comes out better you know with emotion and shit yeah but like i don't know if, if i if i you know somehow just like put into like a fictional world and it comes out good like i'll definitely drop some shit you know if it's a good song it's a good song but you know it's just a lot of the love songs i've made hasn't really stuck with me but you know i got so many i've got so many i promise you that <laughs> i'll be waiting man so yeah. Let us know what's coming for you. What, what what are we looking forward to this year? Um, well, ever since I'm out of school, I'm um, definitely looking to do way more music videos. Because that's one thing I really wanted to do, you know, ever since um, Bubblegum dropped out. He was doing heaps of videos. And kinda, it's like, you know, pushed me and inspired me. Mm-hmm. Um, definitely want to do, I want to start do my own show mm-hmm. here in New Zealand. You know, I've been doing a lot of um, featured shows where I'm just like, need to be on the lineup in that but i definitely want to kind of establish myself on my own show so that's something i look forward to if you're in new zealand mm-hmm. um there's gonna be some big collabs i promise you that my tape has my one of my dream collabs on them oh I, shit. I think uh i don't know if i've announced it but anyway people will find out people will find out one of my <laughs> dream collabs on the um what else can you expect I don't know. I guess this year is a mystery. Like, you know, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. Music videos, show, drop fire songs, and then to see where it takes us, you know. Yeah, hell yeah. Shit will come up on the way, yeah. I'm excited for you, Let's uh, uh thank, thank you, you. so much. That. Thank you so much for taking the time for joining us on this little interview. No way. It's my pleasure, bro. And we'll be seeing you in the U.S.? You will. You will soon. Where about do you live, by the way? Uh, I live I live in Nevada. Like, I live, like, 12 hours away from L.A. Oh, bro. We'll make it happen someday. Yeah. <laughs> if I come. No, yeah, we'll no, definitely, no, definitely make it happen. Team. Hell yeah, bro. All right, man. Well, thank you guys so much for watching today's interview with Latoa. Make sure you guys go stream his music and go stream the new song dropping in two days. What's the song name again? So Fresh, So Clean. So Fresh, So Clean. My boy Latoa, thank you for joining us today. Everything will be in the thank description you, down below. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Later. Later.